So look, I'm going to respond to uh, attacks. This coming election, 2024, American election, is going to be so entertaining, man. Oh, I can't wait. Get your popcorn ready. Sit down and enjoy the show. Man, these games these people playing, if you don't know, no, politics is the game of the rich. It's the game they play. It has nothing to do with us. We are the plebs. They give us the illusion of inclusion with this whole election voting shite. If, you, if, if voting actually worked, they wouldn't let us do it. It's just a game of, of the elite. So they've been coming after Trump. Trump has been going after them. They've been doing this whole back and forth childish nonsense thing going on right now. The next election next year is going to be mainly DeSantis and Trump going head to head against each other because we all know they're not ro they're not rolling joe biden out on his gurney or on his wheelchair to come and debate nobody because they're trying to make it in a way the democrats are trying to play a certain type of game where joe biden wouldn't do any interviews or any campaign nothing like that but of course he's going to win <laughs> whoever the elite wants to wants to win is who wins the country's already bought and paid for man so Trump has come out now and said he's going after DeSantis now because he knows DeSantis is more of a threat to him because all the promises he made last time he never did nothing. Build the wall, drain the swamp, but yet he added more swamp creatures to his campaign. Come on, bro. Come on. But well, people are still going to believe his same old song he sings and still going to go go with him because Trump has built a cult of personality. So that that's just what it is, man. He, I think Trump is going to win. If the powers of B wants him to win, because now they're bringing charges against him, this and all that, and he's fighting back. So it's going to be drama, 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 man. It's going to be, ooh, if you think Love and Hip Hop or Real Housewives of Atlanta was entertaining, oof, you haven't been watching American politics. <laughs> it's, all a, it's all a show, man. His Donald Trump has come out and said DeSantis did a bad job during COVID. Read me that, bro. How? How, Sway? How? To make matters worse, he said Cuomo, the weirdo Andrew Cuomo, did a better job than Ron DeSantis in managing COVID. <laughs> oh my God. It's like battle rap. Oh my God. You're telling a little bit with former President Trump. I don't believe you mentioned him here by name tonight, but does this mean you're going to be a bit more aggressive with campaigning against him? So look, I'm going to respond to uh, attacks. I mean, if if you say Cuomo did a better job with COVID than Florida did, first of all, that's not what he used to say. This is like new. Like six months ago, he would have never said that, right? He used to say how great Florida was. Hell, his whole family moved to Florida under my governorship. Are you kidding me? He wouldn't have said that six months ago because six months ago, he didn't know that you were going to be going head to head with him. So, man, even if he doesn't mean it, he would say it. People say stuff like didn't Kamala Harris, uh, wasn't she in direct competition with Joe Biden and then she lost and then the next thing you know all the bad things she was saying about Joe Biden next thing you know she was campaigning that they made her uh his VP and he kept she kept singing his praises this wasn't this the same person you were talking bad about earlier it's all a game man it's all a game it's one big club and you're not invited um so so some of this stuff I think is look if someone is saying that I am gonna I am gonna counter punch I'm gonna fight back on it I'm gonna focus my fire on Biden and I think he should do the same he gives Biden a free pass um, I'm focusing on Biden that's my focus. Enjoy the show, man, and get your popcorn ready, man. <laughs> Adios, amigos.